I'm in a small bay in Earth Kamenyak. I'm gonna try to catch some brims and the gear you need you can find in my rod bag I have a rod holder foldable one I have two rods for surf casting one of 3.9 meters and the seconds of uh, 4.2 meters of length I have also a backpack a big one and I put inside two sandwiches a bottle of water you need then a pair of scissors a, a bait needle a knife a small one a, the spare leads a few a fluorocarbon I'm using 0.3 millimeters suffix advance I think this is the best and then you need also some bait elastic some hooks I uh, love to use chino hooks 1, 0, 2, 0 and 3, 0 of size and then you also will need a bucket a towel and the bait I have put bait here these are some I uh, take today some sandworms I spare from the last trip oh and uh, seem also uh, a piece of bobbit worm and in this bucket little bucket i have okay, let's open it i have the baits i used last time some razor shells uh, and i don't know what uh, left inside ah these are hermit uh, crabs and also some sandworms I put them in a, in a saline solution so they will last uh, longer they are all about one week and I will try today to fish with them okay let's go guys this is all you need for shore or rock fishing for one day trip okay let's prepare the first rod I have a fish finder rig this means I have a sliding lead on the main line and then I have between a swivel and a lead I put a pearl to protect the lead and on the other side I will put a fluorocarbon of 0.3 millimeters that's thick I'm using suffix advanced 0.3 millimeters the best the best fluorocarbon I know take a meter of fluoro, take a meter of fluorocarbon ah, and now take a hook of dimension of around 1 0 or 2 0 or 3 0 if you want to catch uh, small fishes you can uh, go even with smaller hooks but I don't put smaller hooks let's see I will put 3010 okay 10 chin of hook And now I'm gonna do a snail knot. Snail knot. You go through the eye of the hook and do wrap it around the hook and the fluorocarbon eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And take the other end of the fluorocarbon and put it in the eye of the hook from this side okay I just a second oh no that wasn't a good hook I uh, leave the the first part of the fluorocarbon so it has untangled itself 
Okay, let's repeat it. Take one side of the fluorocarbon, go through the eye of the hook. Wrap it eight times. Like this. You see? I hope you can see it. Take the other side and go like no 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 no. Okay. And go from this side through the eye of the hook. Pull it just a little bit. Okay. So when you pull the the line, the hook will hook the fish easily. Oh. If you go from the other side of the hook eye, it's not good. You will lose some fish. Okay, and now the hook is prepared with the line, the fuller carbon, and now attach it on the main line. Where is it? It's here. I'm gonna use a a clinch knot, a simply normal clinch knot. Rotate it for ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now lubricate. Go through the eye of the loop. Pull it and it's done. Now I will start to fish with a razor shell. There it is. Okay, you need a knife. Take the knife. A razor shell. This is a razor shell. Clean the razor shell. Like this. Okay, beautiful. You see? Now, ah, where it is? Take the needle and put the razor shell on the needle. Like this. Where is the hook? Take the hook. This one. And put it in the bait. Like this. Take some elastic and wrap it all. With elastic. Be good, nice. Okay, take the needle out, and this is the look of the bait you want for fishing. Now I will cast the bait and let's see what we will get. Casting the 
the left should be around the first eye of the rod. This is uh, the right position of the left for casting, okay? this road and prepare the second one okay aha okay look at this i have two clutches on this uh, this uh, reel really thin it hard okay now open the second clutch and I'm leaving it very very light okay second bait I have a piece of frozen bobbit worm take the needle put it put it through the worm okay take a hook and uh, go in the bait here like this Of course, take some elastic and wrap it around. Okay. Put the needle off. Here you go. This is the bait. This is how you wanna look of your bait. Let's cast it. And now also how to make the whole rig. You need a lead. I need a 100 gram lead because my rod is uh, from 50 to 100 uh, gram rod. A spur and a swivel. Take the main line on your rod and put the lead through. Okay, now take the pearl and put it on. Okay. And now take the swivel and make an improved clinch knot. 
Oh, draw. Rotate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Lubricate. Go through this eye. Like this. And take this part and put the line also through this eye like this now put it okay pull this side okay now pull this side and pull hard on this side and it's done trim the end okay and now we have to touch the fluorocarbon but first we will put the hook on the fluorocarbon <laughs> Take a meter of fluorocarbon. Okay. And make a snail knot. five six seven eight time around and through the back part of the eye of the hook like this trim the end leave about uh, five millimeters of line okay Now, if you want to put the whole sandworm on, you can. Where is my needle? You can take the needle. I must find the fluorocarbon. Okay. Take the fluorocarbon, put it on the needle. Like this. Then the sandworm. The sandworm has a hole here. Go through this hole and through the whole sandworm. With the live one, it's very easier. And through the whole length of it. Okay, pull it through. Pull everything through. Okay. Now we have here the hook, pull it a little bit in, like this. This is perfect. This is the bait you wanna. Okay, now you have to attach the fluorocarbon to, to your main line on the swivel. And use a clinch knot. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lubricate. If the sandworm is alive, this is all you have to do. Now you have to cast. But my sandworm. It's not alive, it's a frozen one. I unfroze today. I will put, or not, I will put nothing. I will leave it like this, it's okay. You can put also some elastic around it.
here you go guys I have set up both rods I will show you okay I have two rods on my rod holder and now you want a big pull and then you will have a fish on Look at this, they ate a per part of the bait, so let's just adjust the bait, okay the hook is good, every time to time try to, if, uh, try the point of the hook, if the point, if the point is sharp then it's all okay, recast it, otherwise you have to, to put a new hook. How to put on a hermit worm, oh, not hermit worm, sorry, a hermit crab. Here I have my hermit crab and go through the tail with the hook into the body. Okay, and now rotate to get this result. And this is ready to cast. This is all. I caught this little fish on the hermit crab. And let's release it now. Just to show you that you can uh, have some fish on this bait. So the first fish, it's a little fish. Here you go, you can see it. And now I will put it back in the water. Then we got also a second small fish on the hermit crab. They are really, the fish really like hermit crabs. This is a small two striped bream. I'm gonna put it back because it's too little. And where is the hook? Okay. I need also the pinches. Here we go. Huh. I forgot earlier. It's uh, you also need a pair of pinches for retrieving the hooks out of the fish mouth. This is also a thing you must have in your backpack when you're fishing. Almost, almost. When you grab the hook, okay, I didn't grab it well. Okay, no. Hmm. He ate, ate a hook in such a strange way. It's very hard to put it out. I will try with my hand. Okay. It's this side. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna release this fish. Okay, I'll go, buddy. So, this is a small two striped brim. And I'm gonna release it fast in the sea. Of course. Go leave the body. Okay. And it's gone. Let's put on another hermit crap. You go with the hook through the 
tail all the way up in the armor and go out of the armor like this and we cut a proper two striped brim on a, on a hermit uh, crab of course Look at this beauty, this is a nice one. This is all for today's tutorial. If you like my tutorial, please uh, subscribe. 